Hello guys and welcome to today's vlog. We are currently on our way to Muncie to go to Once Upon a Child because I have a lot of Everly's like old clothes that she can't wear anymore and I want to try to sell them and then get some new stuff. I am just kind of selling the ones that aren't my absolute favorites and then just keeping the ones that I really love for the next baby if we have a girl. The hard part about that is I'm not sure like when she's going to be due so I don't know what season like she'll be able to wear certain things. So for now I'm just keeping everything that I really love and selling the things that I, I don't love and then once I get pregnant and find us a girl then we'll just go from there. I've never sold clothes to them before so I'm not really sure what exactly to expect and how much they actually give you but I'm hoping with whatever they do give me I can just use to get things that she's needing now. She is in like 18 month clothes right now. She does wear some 12 month but I want to start I want to get a few things that she can also grow into like 24 month stuff. So we'll see. Um, she's right here you can see her she's napping she's getting so big still in the 99 percentile in weight and 22 percent in height we laugh about that all the time i think it's just so funny my mom's up here driving if you can see her up there she came to help me out since i did have my surgery tomorrow will make it a week since i've had my surgery and I don't think I've updated you, or no, I haven't updated you guys at all on how that went. Um, it went really good. I was super nervous, but it really wasn't a big deal at all. I was under, I think, for like an hour. My arm's like getting tired from holding this camera. <laughs> so um, but I was under for like an hour, and I think the whole procedure was just like 35 minutes. He said actually when he went in there, he had a hard time finding the hernia because of how small it was. He was really shocked of how much fat actually seeped through it because he said the hernia itself was, I think, like the size of a pencil eraser. So that's really good. I'm so happy that that's out of the way and done and recovery is going good. The first few days were kind of rough. I was very sore. And then also coming off that anesthesia just makes you feel really weird and I don't know like my arms and legs would be really tingly and I didn't like that feeling. I only took the pain medication for like a day and then I was like on ibuprofen and now I'm not actually taking anything at all, which is great. I don't know why, but it made me feel super, super nauseous, especially at night. It almost, it felt like I had like the flu and it would just keep me up a lot of the night and I like to sleep kind of on my stomach and so that was really hard to not be able to sleep on my stomach and kind of keep accidentally rolling onto it and then it waking me up um, but it's so much better now like the last yesterday and today I have honestly barely felt it I still just have to be really careful about picking things up because yesterday I totally wasn't thinking and I picked it really up and it started hurting and I'm like okay yeah I gotta I still gotta be really careful but she's been so good I was really worried about how she would react with everything and she loves my mom though so that's been she's been such an amazing help like I really could not have been doing it without her like oh my word but and it's also we've just been having a lot of fun because we never, hardly ever get to see each other and it sucks so we're just trying to take advantage of this time she's gonna be here another week and then she has to go back sadly so we're just on our way to once upon a child and I will catch you guys up when we're there. Evie. Evie. She is out. <laughs> Mom, I don't know where she's going. <laughs> Bubba? Hey. We're here. We're here. You wanna wake up? Maybe I can go in and come back out. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> she's so tired. We made it to Once Upon a Child. 
Right over there. This little monkey is still fast asleep. So, I think, here's all this stuff. I think I'm gonna go in and, I don't know how this works, just bring it in saying I want them to look at my stuff and see how much they can give it to me. And then I'll come back out and get Everly and Mom. So, we'll see. Change of plans. We are awake. <laughs> Hi, baby. Did you sleep good? <laughs> yeah. You wake up happy. Oh, you see the microphone? That's so fun, isn't it? Oh, stretches. You want to go in here and buy you some cute things? Hmm? Update. Went in there and gave them my clothes. I just had to fill out like my driver's license information and just like my phone number and stuff like that. And they're gonna text me when they're done looking through my stuff and we're gonna go back and see how much they're gonna offer me and then we'll shop in there. Everly is not having it right now. Poor little girl is throwing a major fit. She's okay now, but look at you little girl. He's throwing a fit. But she was obsessed with this little thing right here. <laughs> she like did not want to put it back. So we ended up getting it. And oh my word, it looks super sparkly. You see how sparkly it is? Oh my gosh. Now we are just gonna go to Play-Doh's closet while we're waiting on their text just to look for some stuff for us because why not? So hopefully I can find some cute things for myself. back home now it is the next day I didn't get a lot of footage in once upon a child because Everly was just being very fussy and also I think I pushed myself a little bit too much and I started to feel really lightheaded and just kind of sick to my stomach and not a good situation I need to remember that it's only been a week since I've had surgery but I came home and I rest. I rested and I feel a lot better now. I'm gonna show you guys what I did get. I got quite a bit of shoes for Everly because she is now walking. Well, she's walking, she crawls more than she walks still, but she doesn't have like any kind of walking shoes and she's gonna need them, so. But here are these little walking shoes I found and I think they are so cute. My mom actually found them. Um, and these are just going to be super nice for just every day and they look really, really nice still and they fit her super good. So I'm really excited about these. She's in a size, she's in a size three right now, but these are size Nine. four. I'll just show you what my daughter is doing. Everly. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. <laughs> she knows. Get over here. No. You can't eat the keys. That's gross. That's dirty. Okay, so. Here's Everly. Her hair is crazy because she took out her bow, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, she's gonna grab the camera, Mom. <laughs> she's gonna grab it. Her poor eye. I know, you got boo boos. <laughs> Hello. You can see Nana. 
Come here. Come on. Go walk to Nana. Go walk. Come on. You can Come do on. it. She looks like Will right now. Uh-huh. Go walk. No. Walk Emmy, to Nana. Emmy, look. Ready? Walk to Nana. Oh, <laughs> she just going to crawl. Anyway, so another pair of shoes I got are these little flats that she can wear to like church and stuff. I thought they were really cute. My mom also found these. I am like obsessed with these ones. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. She's gonna wear these all the time in the summer. Here comes that really again. <laughs> Your sticker. <laughs> I know, it's so fun. Early. Early. Or are you gonna have to go in the other room? <laughs> I know, it's so fun. I know, I know. And then the last pair of shoes that I got were these little boots. And these also fit her really good. So it's still pretty cold here in Indiana, and it's gonna be cold probably until like May, honestly. So she'll still get a lot of use out of these. And they're just nice walking shoes again, so. I did go ahead and wash everything, so I can't remember the prices, but most of the shoes were around like 250, which is such a great deal. And then I think I can remember most of the clothes, but I did take off the tags. I should have saved them, but I wasn't even thinking. But the first thing I got is this, this little, Bodysuit, is that what they're called? Romper bodysuit. It's originally from Old Navy, 12 to 18 months, but I love the color and the little pr the print on it, if you guys can see. I just can imagine little chunky legs sticking out of here, walking around. The next thing I got that she can really wear right now is this little hoodie. It's in the 50s today, so she could wear this just out how it is, but if it gets a little colder, I can put just like a long sleeve onesie under this, and then she can just have some of her little tennis shoes and some leggings, and she'll be good to go. And it's super, super soft. Um, this is from the brand, from the brand For All Mankind. Um, I've actually never heard of that brand before, but this one was a little more pricey, so I'm guessing it's a nice brand. It was like five dollars when most things are like range around two dollars so this top was 250 i remember that thinking that it was a really good deal it's just a very basic white top I mean, it's kind of like that linen material and this is originally from old navy 18 to 24 months so she'll get a lot of good use out of this because i bet she could wear this right now so really excited about that that'll be good for spring and summer and then the next thing that I just fell in love with when I saw this is this adorable little dress right here. Oh, I think this is just so pretty. And then the back has buttons with these little ruffles down the back. And I think that is just so sweet. It also came with some bloomers. Look how precious, these little bloomers. So she'll be able to wear that for a while. And then this next piece is so cute. This little jumpsuit right here, it needs to be ironed a little bit, but this is also 12 to 18 months and from Old Navy. But this is also something she could wear like right now, just with some leggings and a jacket. And then she can also wear this like spring and summer as well. So very versatile. And then the last thing for Everly that I got is, this is probably my favorite outfit. It's actually from a shop from Etsy, the tag says. It's called Birdie Clothing and it's from Etsy. But it looks like kind of the stuff from Matilda Jane. And it's just this little top right here. I just thought the pattern was so very pretty and I love the colors. That is definitely my vibe. And here are these pants. I think they are just, oh, I just love these so much. And I know she's gonna be so cute in this. I'll probably put her in this on Sunday because it's supposed to be a really, really nice day, so. If you guys are curious about how the process was for me selling clothes, um, I actually did make $25, which was pretty good. I honestly was kind of surprised. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. They took most of my stuff. They didn't take 
all of it. I put a few unused bottles in there, but I understand why they can't take those. It's just not sanitary. But they took most of my stuff, which was really cool. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys, I did go to Plato's Closet in between going to um, Once Upon a Child while they were like sorting through my stuff. And I'm so happy because I found two pairs of jeans that I love. I am so picky when it comes to jeans. You guys have probably noticed I wear the same pair of jeans like every single day. And I went and I found two pair that I love. So I'll show you this pair now that I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see. And they're t usually I get like a looser fit, but these were a little bit tighter, but I still just really liked the look of them. And I think they're just very flattering. And these ones were actually originally from Walmart. And so I only got them for eight bucks and they feel really, really nice. So I actually showed the next one in the video when I was trying them on. Um, but these ones were originally from Gap and I got them for $12. And I actually looked on the Gap website because I was curious to see if I can find them. And I did find them and they're originally $80. So this was a really good find. They're actually not high rise, they're mid rise, um, but they still looked really cute. They have that more of like that slouchy look and there's a little bit of distressing in them. And I really liked the color of the blue. It was a very successful trip, even though I got kind of sick, but it's all good now. But now I think I'm going to move on to our vlog devotion. Okay, so I went and grabbed my phone. Um, I'm doing this devotion on happiness. It's called Habit of Happiness, and this is day two. It's really easy to get caught up in always the next thing. It's really hard to stay content with what you have, especially when you're seeing people like on social media and just even people in your life that has more than you, so to say, and just to look at other people and see what they have and compare it to yourself. And so I've been doing this devotion just to help me just to be more content with where I'm at right now. No matter what stage in life you are, you're always going to be thinking of what's the next thing. It's just really easy to think, okay, if I can just get here, then I'll be happy. But no matter what stage in life you are, you're always going to have that mentality. And so it's really good to just be present and to be thankful for where you are currently in your life. Otherwise, you're just going to be wishing your life away. Okay, so this is day two and it's called Selective Memory, Focus on the Good Times. Developing an attitude of gratitude does not come naturally. We are not by nature grateful people. We are by nature discontented. We always want more or something different. In the book of Philippians, Paul was writing to the church that he started in Philippi where a woman named Lydia opened up her home and along with others, welcomed Paul to the city. The Philippian church even helped fund Paul's missionary journeys. In Philippians 1.5, Paul says, I thank God for the help you gave me. The thing is, Paul didn't have a good time in Philippi. In fact, it was one of his toughest churches to get started. When Paul went to the city to start a church, he was beaten, whipped, humiliated, falsely arrested, thrown into prison, and survived an earthquake. Then he was politely asked by the city leaders to leave town. Yet Paul, <laughs> yet Paul told the believers, every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God, Philippians 1.3. What is Paul doing there? He is choosing selective memory. Philippi was not a happy place for Paul, and he endured a lot of persecution and suffering during his time in the city. But he chose to not dwell on the painful memories and instead expressed his gratitude for the good things that had been done for him through him. The longer you know someone, the more likely you are to take that person for granted and to look for faults and remember the bad things instead of the good things. Are you still living in some painful memory with people in your life? You've never let them off the hook and you can't enjoy the relationship because you're still holding on to the past. 
Your memories are a choice. If you want to hold on to your painful memories, go right ahead, but you're not going to be happy. Paul had a lot of reasons to have painful memories of Philippi. Instead, he made the choice to be grateful for the people in his life and the work God was doing in and through them. When you do the same, God will bless your relationships far beyond your expectations. Philippians 1, I thank my God every time I remember you. So if you guys do want to continue that devotion, again, it's called Habits, Habit of Happiness, and it's a really long one. There's like 37 days to that one, so, but they're not very long. I love to just read devotions, a little devotion before I go to bed. It just is very uplifting. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified every single time that I upload. I'm going to be coming out with some really fun videos, so definitely turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified because I'm really excited about them. Um, and also, Evie's birthday is coming up. It's just so crazy. She's going to be one. So wild. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys.